the day after Christmas now, and I'm back at the spot of yesterday's standoff, right here on the edge of no man's land, or the very edge of Colombian, edge of Colombian territory here on the border, on the international bridge, the Simon Boulevard Bridge. And I need to set the record straight. I need to correct some mistakes from yesterday. So let's let's get out of selfie mode. There is the vehicle, or what's, what's left of a, a trailer, that I thought was the burnt trailer from the incident in February, but I guess it's not. No, Joe. That, that, can, can you can you explain what this trailer is and how did it end up here? Yeah. So. It was involved in that day, but let me remind you what happened was the, the Venezuelan opposition brought the two but humanitarian aid in both bridges, this bridge and the Francisco de Paulo bridge. This, what you're seeing right here, was a water cistern tank truck that they used to block the, the bridge, which the people then, some of the protesters then, took the water tank off and threw it over the bridge and left just the frame of the vehicle there and that's what's left the frame of the vehicle but since they put up the the, tr the container and they filled the container with sand then it just stayed there on the other bridge is where the actual burning of the humanitarian aid took place so this was not the burnt truck no or trailer however it was involved it was in, involved in that same in that incident, incident but that was, incident did was, not take place on this bridge, but on it took the other place bridge. on the other exactly. bridge that's nearby. All right, Correct. so I guess that sets the record straight. Yeah, that clarifies that.